Mardi Gras is an amazing time of year to visit New Orleans. Mardi Gras is French for Fat Tuesday, reflecting the practice of the last night of eating richer, fattier foods before the ritual feasting of the Lenten season. Hey guys, I'm here in New Orleans. We're gonna check out some cool sites, eat some amazing food. On top of that, I'm here on Bourbon Street. It's Mardi Gras season on this episode of the Clip Prank Extraordinaire. Want to join me on my expeditions around the world? Come with me to taste the foods, experience the cultures, see the sights, learn to travel fast, and make the most of your trip on a dime. By the way, my name is Adam, but you can call me the Globe Trotting Extraordinaire. On the way from the airport to downtown, I highly recommend that you stop at Beads by the Dozen. They are a huge shop that sells beads, throws, and anything Mardi Gras or party related. We left the store with cases of throw beads and big beads as well. We were very hungry after our long flight to New Orleans. One of my favorite spots in New Orleans to grab a quick bite is Coop's Place. Coop's Place is a cruel restaurant that serves up Cajun grub in a busy, no frill space that's open late. The Cajun fried chicken was absolutely amazing. So I'm currently here in New Orleans. Jackson Square right behind me is the place of the signing of the Louisiana Purchase where Louisiana became a territory of the United States of America. Also behind Jackson Square is St. Louis Cathedral, one of the largest cathedrals here in Louisiana. St. Louis Cathedral is actually the oldest cathedral in the United States. The first church on the site was built in 1718. While walking around the French Quarter, we happened to stumble upon the Half Fast Walking Club. The Half Fast is one of the best known marching crews founded and historically led by Pete Fountain. Pete Fountain is a famous clarinet player. He's the player. greatest clarinet player that ever lived. He's from New Orleans, yeah. Louisiana. He started the half-ass walking club. Not marching, because there ain't none of that here. It's just a walking club. Am That's I right? You're a son right. right. Who that, baby? Yeah, baby. The first Mardi Gras in New Orleans happened on March 2nd, 1699. The parades in New Orleans are set up and put on by groups called crews. The first crew, Comus, was formed in 1856. 1972 was the last year that any major parade went through the French Quarter. Most of them just skirt around the edge up and down Canal Street now. Bourbon Street actually at first when New Orleans was formed was a residential area. It wasn't until about the 1880s when this became the center of brothels, gambling dens. It was like that up until the 1960s when a local district attorney tried to clamp down on it and shut down the brothels. Obviously the brothels have been shut down, but the local strip clubs and bars and adult entertainment still alive and happening here at Bourbon Street. Both of us living in New Orleans, the, the crowds are the f***ing worst. Particularly when you're trying to get to work and you cannot drive your car anywhere in the city. Yes! 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 Globe County Extraordinaire, perfect dozen. Here on Bourbon Street, Mardi Gras, we're gonna go upstairs, throw some beads around. Traditional colors of Mardi Gras are green, gold, and purple. Green for the power, gold for the faith, and purple for the justice. The colors were used in the first parade of the Rex crew in 1872. There are now about 77 crews in New Orleans that hold parades throughout the carnival season. The parades have a lot of different throws of beads, stuffed animals, and doubloons that are considered collector's items. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. You can catch me up on my website, Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Thanks again from the Globetrotting Extraordinaire.
Jackson Square is very famous for being the area where the Louisiana Purchase was signed, where Louisiana became a territory of the United States. No. Mike! Mike! Come on, player! Come on, man! <laughs> Like that. All right. 50 shades.